Hello students, welcome to another session of Cubes and Cube Roots. In the last session, we discussed finding a perfect cube by the prime factorization method and how to make a number a perfect cube. Today, we are going to see what is the cube root of a number and how it can be found. Now, let's have a look at the cubes of the first 20 natural numbers. We know that these numbers are the cubes of natural numbers. They are called perfect cubes. If so, what about these numbers? They are called cube roots. That is, in 5 cube equals 125. We can say that 125 is the cube of 5 and 5 is the cube root of 125. We can represent symbolically it as the cube root of 125 equals 5. Here, the radical symbol denotes cube root. Similarly, in 3 cube equals 27. 27 is the cube of 3 and 3 is the cube root of 27. That is, the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. The table shows the cube root of some numbers. Let's see some methods to find the cube root of a given number. In the prime factorization of a cube number, each prime factor appears three times. Let's prime factorize 3375. It can be expressed as the product of its prime factor. That is, 3,375 equals 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 equals 3 cube multiplied by 5 cube. We know that a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m equals a multiplied by b, whole raised to m. So, 3 cube multiplied by 5 cube equals 3 multiplied by 5, the whole cube equals 15 cube. Thus, the cube root of 3375 is 15. In the next part, we have to find out the cube root of a cube number through estimation. We have cube number 17,576. We can estimate the cube root of 17,576. For that, let's make groups of three digits, starting from the rightmost digit of the number. That is, the number 17,576 can be grouped as 17 and 576. Here, 576 is the first group and 17 is the second group. Each group gives only one digit of the cube root. The first group gives unit digit, the second group gives tens digit, and so on. The number 576 ends in 6. We know that 6 comes at the unit place of a number only if its cube root ends in 6. So, we get 6 as the unit place of cube root. In the second group, the number 17 lies between 8 and 27. That is, in between 2 cube and 3 cube. We accept the smaller number among 2 and 3. So 2 will be in 10's place, therefore, the required number is 26. That is, cube root of 17,576 equals 26. Using this method, we can estimate the cube root of a given perfect cube number. 
Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discuss the cube root of a given number through the prime factorization method and estimation method. Before winding up, here is an activity for you. Find the cube root of 13,824 by prime factorization method. Find the cube root of 8,57,375 by estimation method. That's all about cubes and cube roots. See you all in the next class with another interesting chapter.